Hey guys, it's the How To Guy123 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best free game recording software. So the best free game recording software in my opinion is Shadowplay. So Shadowplay is actually not free. You need to have a NVIDIA graphics card to actually get it. Uh, but don't worry, if you do not have a NVIDIA graphics card, I'll be making a part 2 to this video. Um, where I'll show you guys another really good uh, free game recording software called OBS. Um, I used to use that for some of my older videos. Um, I think you guys might like that one as well as Shadowplay. So in this video, I'm going to be going over um, the pros and cons of Shadowplay, how to actually get Shadowplay, and how to use Shadowplay. So let's go ahead and get started. So here are the pros to Shadowplay. So first off, there is no lag whatsoever. See, if you were to record uh, your games with another program, like DX Store or Fraps, your frame rate drastically drops. With Shadowplay, there's no lag whatsoever. Uh, you won't even lose a frame. Uh, you'll probably have the same frame rate you get uh, even when you're not recording. There's also the shadow feature, where let's say you know, you're playing your game um, and you didn't record and something amazing happens. Um, see, Shadowplay uh, records in the background, so you can just uh, hit a hotkey and it's going to save a certain amount of time of gameplay uh, that you set. Shadowplay is also very easy to use. You can also record your desktop and you can record in up to 4K and 60fps. The only two downsides to Shadowplay are you can only record uh, supported games um, that are games that are supported with uh, Shadowplay. Um, there are ways that you can record unsupported games. Uh, I might do a tutorial on that uh, eventually. Um, and also, you need a certain graphics card uh, to use Shadowplay. Uh, like I said, you need a NVIDIA graphics card, but you also need a NVIDIA GTX graphics card. For example, I have a NVIDIA uh, GeForce GTX uh, 970. Uh, you, need a, you cannot use a GT graphics card. For example, let's say you have a GT uh, 720, you cannot use uh, that graphics card. It must be like a GTX uh, 780, 770, 760, 980, 970, so on. So let's go ahead and uh, get Shadowplay. So Shadowplay is actually part of the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. This is a program where you can download the drivers for your video card. Um, you can also optimize your games to perform the best on your computer. Uh, you can also uh, do some NVIDIA Shield stuff, and of course record your games with Shadowplay. So if you do not have the uh, GeForce experience, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to go ahead and download it. Once you have it downloaded and installed, we can go ahead and open it by either coming down here to the search bar and typing in GeForce experience, or coming down here to the uh, bottom of the taskbar and clicking on the arrow here, then clicking on the NVIDIA logo, then open NVIDIA GeForce experience. Once it's opened, you should see something like this. To open Shadowplay, all you have to do is come up here to the top right hand corner, and then click on the button that says Shadowplay. And this window should open. Let's go ahead and change our settings. To uh, Well, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys some good settings for 60fps recordings. To turn on Shadowplay, all, all you need to do is uh, click on the switch here. Your screen might go blank for a couple seconds, that is totally normal. And let's go ahead and change our settings. So uh, for mode here, I would choose a shadow and manual. Um, that's going to allow us to manually record gameplay uh, by pressing the hotkey to start the recording and then pressing the hotkey again to stop the recording. It's also going to allow us to save gameplay uh, that was recorded in the background um, to save a certain amount of time of gameplay that was recorded in the background. Uh, to set that certain amount of time, that's where shadow time comes in. Uh, you can set the amount of time of gameplay that's saved. Uh, I usually put it at five minutes. It's really all up to you. You can set you can set it from one minute to twenty minutes. Um, I just set it at five minutes, and um, it also gives you an estimated file size. So for five minutes, uh, the file size will be around one point nine gigabytes. For quality, uh, I would choose custom and game, and for the frame rate, I choose sixty fps. The bit rate fifty. It's a good balance between file size and quality. And I believe that's even the default is 50 uh, megabits per second. For audio, this is all up to you. If you want just uh, if you want Shadowplay to just record your in-game audio, 
then choose in-game if you want uh, shadow play to also to record your in-game audio and microphone then uh, you can choose that or if you just want to turn off sound altogether then you can turn it off so so next let's go ahead and uh, click on these two gears here this is going to bring up some more settings under overlays here you'll see three uh, different tabs um, the camera tab we're just going to go ahead and skip this uh, all together this is for twitch streaming because with shadow play you can also uh, stream to twitch um, this is if you want to have a face cam uh, during your twitch stream this does not work for just normal uh, normal recording so uh, we'll just go ahead and skip over that uh, the status indicator uh, this just tells you um, if you are recording, if you're manually recording, or if your file has been saved. And you can choose the position on the screen where you will uh, like it. I put it in the top uh, right hand corner of my screen. Uh, it really doesn't matter where you uh, put it. And you can turn it off altogether if you'd like uh, by just clicking this button here. The FPS counter, this just tells you how many frames, uh, how many frames per second you are getting in your game. Uh, and you can choose the position for that. I put it in the top left hand corner uh, like I said before it really doesn't matter where you put it or you can turn it off altogether by, by just clicking this you can also uh, record your desktop so um, if you want to record your desktop just allow desktop capture if not just uncheck it uh, I just leave it on and then for microphone here uh, you can choose to have it uh, always on or push the talk where you press the hotkey to record your microphone then when you let go of the hotkey it's going to stop recording your microphone uh, this is all up to you. I choose always on. So under keyboard shortcuts, um, these, I usually just leave these uh, default. Um, I'll quick, I'll quickly go over uh, the keyboard shortcuts here. So it's Alt plus F10 to save the last five minutes of gameplay recorded. So or however many minutes you set it. Uh, Alt plus F9 to start to manually record to start recording and stop recording. Uh, the next three are for Twitch streaming. Uh, then we have uh, activate push to talk. And then toggle FPS counter if you want to turn your FPS counter uh, on and off. Uh, under recordings here, uh, th this is where your uh, files are going to be saved under. So uh, save location to change uh, the folder where your, your videos are going to be saved. Just click on these three dots here. Uh, you can put it where wherever you want. I just made a shadow play folder uh, in a folder where I keep all my videos. And the nice thing about shadow play is uh, it automatically creates uh, folders depending on what game is being recorded. So to select the folder, all you have to do is click on it and select folder and then uh, we're pretty much done there uh, temporary file locations we really won't mess we won't mess with that uh, it really doesn't matter so I went ahead and hopped into a game of Grand Theft Auto 5 online and I'm just going to uh, give you guys a little example of what a recording with Shadowplay actually looks like uh, a couple weeks ago I actually posted a better example of uh, what a recording with Shadowplay looks like in uh, GTA 5 um, and a couple days ago I also posted a uh, example of shadow play of a shadow play recording uh, in black ops 3 so if you guys want to go ahead and check that out uh, i'll leave a link for those in the description below so right now i'm just going to uh, show you guys how to actually use shadow play and what all the icons on your screen um actually mean um so this right here is the status indicator uh, this just tells you uh if you're manually recording or if your file has been saved uh to manually record all you have to do is press alt and f9 that is the uh, default hotkey and once you press that on the status indicator there should be a green circle that just means you are manually recording um, and to stop recording all you have to do is press alt and f9 again on the status indicator there should be like a uh, arrow inside the green circle that just means you have stopped recording and your file has been saved if you want to save some gameplay that was recorded in the background all you have to do is press alt and f10 on the status indicator uh, there should just be an arrow that just means your file has been saved so that's the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed uh like i said at the beginning of this video i'll be making a part two uh to this where i'll show you guys another really good free uh game recording software called obs um so yeah i'll see you guys later